This painting uh, started out in a real strange way too. When I first moved to Chicago back in 86, I was experimenting around with doing um, decoupage. And decoupage is just nothing but basically a collage that you do on glass. And what you do is you take newspaper articles and pictures and you use this liquid uh, plastic type solution that you mix with water and you paint uh, newspaper pictures and stuff out of, out of things and then you can after it dries, you can pull it up and it makes like a plastic film that you can lay. So initially, I started with this form, with like a human shape. And then over the years, it was something like, like, like a dartboard. I'd go by periodically and like, if something really caught my attention, I'd put little things on here, little objects or little ideas that were happening, like new African freedom fighters about uh, the fact that there are thousands of uh, Africans, Latinos, and whites who were revolutionaries who were sitting in the United States prisons you know, and do more time than somebody who murders two or three people, but hey, you know, that's the kind of insanity we live in. So, you know, and these are other things, like the idea that what this says is uh, only uh, faggots get AIDS, right? Which we know is bullshit, but that, that's the kind of stupid propaganda that gets people killed because people don't want to deal with the reality. They live amongst all this ugliness, but, you know, nobody wants to look at this shit because, you know, they feel like, what can I do about it? So they do nothing, you know? And I'm not saying that because I make a painting, that I'm doing something about it either, other than bringing it to other people's attention. So, this is about insanity, obviously. I know a lot about that. Okay, uh, the hair is, uh, the hair on the picture is interesting because it was my hair. I mean, I had really long dreadlocks. And then one day I decided that, was my hair taking up too much of my mental ability? And was it, and did I, was I attached to my hair to the extent that if I lost it, I would feel naked. So I challenged myself to just simply cut my hair off. And I did. And it was, it was great, it was very liberating because it's like anything, people get caught up on symbolism. Like, you know, people are brothers, brothers running around here with locks down to their ass and shit, you know, and, and developed a little Jamaican accent and know about six lessons of African history, you know, and suddenly, you know, they're like some kind of gurus walking around in the community and they're really not. They're fakers, they're, 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 they're imposters, all right? They're wearing costumes, whether it's an afro or whatever, or whether it's dreadlocks. It has nothing to do with mentally what's going on in a person's head. A person can be bald-headed and be conscious. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm really down on costumes that brothers be creating out here to perpetuate some of the bullshit they want to do in the guise of teaching somebody or having some secret knowledge of the pyramid shit, okay? I mean, I'm... I'm I'm a Pan-Africanist, there's no doubt in my mind. But cultural nationalism only goes so far. So just because you wear dashikis and all the clothes and shit, it ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in your dome. And if you ain't living like you're preaching it, then you're bullshit. So that's, that's all in there too, right? <laughs>